Okay, take a listen to this. Could overpraising your kids turn them out like this? Boys, how was school today? I threw a bunch of Grandpa Chip's war medals off the bridge. That sounds like a good day. I get emotional. You guys are working so hard, and I'm just so proud of you. You remind me of me. What is wrong with you? Chip, I'm going to come at you like a spider monkey. Yeah, yeah, turn up the heat. Well, a new study <laughs> saying that parents who coddle their kids lead them to be narcissistic jerks. <laughs> That's right. So how much praise is too much? Joining us now is psychiatrist and Fox News contributor, Dr. Keith Ablo. So, Dr. Keith, how much good is too, too much? Well, listen, I think when we generalize too much and when we say you're the best in the world and there's no reality base to it, we play into things that are untrue. And that can create in kids the need to build a false self to maintain that kind of unusual praise and that leads potentially to narcissism because how do you keep the balloon aloft? You have to fill it with lots of hot air. Okay, so let me ask you this though. What happened to unconditional love? I love you just because. We shouldn't say that to our kids. It can turn out to be jerks. Now look, I think one of the things here is to personalize your love, to say you make me so proud. Not that painting is, you know, you could be a professional painter. You don't have to say you could be the best in the world. I love you is the antidote actually to narcissism. Most of my patients come to my office because they weren't sure they were loved. Okay. If we tell kids you're loved, that's not saying you're perfect. So you're separating praise from that unconditional love that a parent should give. What about, how honest should a parent be, in your opinion? What if they are, are play, if Brian's laughing, uh, if they're playing soccer and they might not be that great, according to some, not the mom, of course, and maybe they're painting and the painting is maybe not in the eyes, a masterpiece of some, how honest are you supposed to be so that you keep them from becoming narcissistic? Not very honest. Listen, this study, it looked at kids seven to 12 and said, if you don't do this quite right, they may turn out to be narcissists because these kids seem to be on their way. But that's awfully early to look at that. I would say parents should err on the side of praise always, okay, unless your kid has disappointed you characterologically by being like a bully or something. But the bottom line is praise, but personalize. And also talk about your own shortcomings. Hey, when I was uh, back in school, I, I got to tell you, I wasn't much of an artist. That's good because the child learns. I don't have to prop myself up in a false Superman way. Yeah, praise and specific, being specific with it. This is some of the best advice for parents out there. I have to say, praise them, but be very personalized with it. Thank you, because I tend to tell my kids how great they are a bunch. I, <laughs> I think they're nice, but we'll see. We'll see how it all turns out. By the way, You're, great job on this segment, Dr. Key. And she means hey, it. Hey, thanks. And I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Was it the best heart. segment that you ever did? One I of mean, the best. you think I'm the best interviewee you've ever had? I, in terms of parenting today and this segment and this time, the best. How's that for honest? <laughs> Thank you. I'm glowing. <laughs> well, and you're not a jerk, I have to say. Thanks. Great advice here.